Hello friends, today I am solving lead code problem number 217 contains duplicate. In this problem, we are given an array of integers, nums, and then we need to return true if the, uh, if the array consists of at least one duplicate. That is, if one of the values in the array appears twice, then we are going to return true because it contains duplicate if not we are going to return false so how could we uh, know if the uh, integer array consists of duplicates or not so uh, let's start with the given example here in this example we know like it consists of duplicates right because the integer one is being repeated twice so we know that it consists of duplicates and how could we find that is one way is to use brute force brute force method where you would um, uh, use uh, iterate through each of the elements so I'll fix my value to one and then I would uh, um, loop through all the other elements in the array and then check is this value equals to this if not then i check is this value equals to this no is this value equals to this yes which means that there is a duplicate at least one duplicate right right so that is when i'll return true so um in this case actually what we are doing is we are running a for loop twice because of which the time complexity becomes and squared which is very huge uh, we could still optimize this solution um, let me just uh, write it and code it so that you know what I'm actually telling uh, how it is um, O of n squared so we are actually starting from 0 and until length increasing i every single time and then for let j equals to zero j equals to i plus one j is less than nums length j plus plus so basically we are only checking from one minus one uh, length minus one so if nums i equals nums j and then I'll return return true else return false else like we did not find any duplicates here so we return false at the end and when we run this code of course we are gonna get our result but uh, when you look at the time complexity we have one for loop from loop uh, iterating over all the elements and another for loop iterating over all the elements so it becomes of n square and we do not want this we could still optimize this solution so one way to optimize this solution is to use set so how are we gonna how are we gonna use um solve this using set well we know set only consists of the set object only consists of unique elements elements right so if i create a new set of consisting of all the elements in this integer array then my set will only have unique elements distinct elements which are distinct right so i'll put only these three values from when i create a um, set of these four values right so which now that i have created a set now when i uh, when i check the length the length of this array is four however the length of this set is three since the air um, length is three we know that one of the elements at least one of the elements was repeating that is why the length is less than the length of the nums so that is when we return to if the length is not equal if the length is equal we we know that um, all the elements are distinct suppose this was the case then the set would also contain all of these elements and then there are no duplicates then we return false so let us just create a set equals to new 
set of all the elements in the nums so we can just uh, define the set this way so that it will initialize the set with the elements and then we're going to return set not equals to nums okay i'm going to check the length size dot length okay so if it is not equal which means then it consists of duplicates and then we return to in this case the space complexity is of course o of n however the time complexity here is now reduced to o of n because we are only using uh, to create a set 